Hello YouTube, Tim here. I wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been doing with the 3D printed thumb rings. I have three different sizes. You can see they're kind of like Russian nesting dolls. One printed at 100% size, one printed the smallest one at 80% size, and then the middle one printed at 90% size. The smallest one fits my wife and she's tiny, so the biggest one is too big for me, but I took it to work and give it to other people to just try on and it fits them pretty well without adjusting and sanding. And the middle one fits me pretty well, just depending on the angle that I'm holding it at. Let me uh, go ahead and slip that on real quick. Okay, so there it is. I haven't sanded it or done anything. With my thumb extended fully, it stays on very nice and tight. If I relax, I can pop it off pretty easily without having to even rotate it. I'm not sure. When it's being torqued by the bowstring like so, there's no way it's coming off. It does need to be sanded, finished. I want to take this down a little bit. It's just too large. The, the shape, I'm not sure what they were thinking when they designed the 3D file. So I might end up, since it allows remixing, I might end up tweaking it and republishing it as a remix. If so, you'll see the link down below eventually on Thingiverse or some other place where you can get 3D models and things like that. So one thing I'm doing now is I wanted to use my 3D printer to try and 3D print a Sia. You know, the Bosch and Kassan, the end of a Turkish bow. Should be perfect, right? Because Mehmet Galan's bow and the Sapahi bow that I bought is just cast resin. I've made plenty of them from poplar and oak and other woods, but it's a pain in the butt. It's not horrible to do. I mean, hey, people did this for a long time, car carving things out of wood. But what I'd really like to be able to do is just plug it in, tell my printer, go, and in the morning wake up and have six Sia's ready to go, ready to plug into a, uh, a bow. Maybe just a little light sanding finishing. That would be really nice. I can't tell you how nice that would be. To that end, I found one of my old documents here. This was just a like an A4 sheet of paper that I had. I drew out the diagram for a Sia. The, the top one is the standard one that I traced off of Mehmet Gelan's bow. This is the profile. And the one below, one that I reinforced slightly for use on a slightly heavier Tatar bow. Basically the same, just more robust. So, links to that file will be down below. I'll put that in the, in the uh, show notes. If anybody's willing to help me do this, because I really am new at 3D modeling and things like that. If somebody would like to take that profile, trace it out in Google SketchUp or whatever program you guys use, and extrude it to a height of about a centimeter, that's a pretty good place to start. Ideally, you'd have a triangular cross section you know, where it'd be wider in the front, narrowing towards the rear. but I can't do anything at this moment. I'm installing SketchUp and I'm gonna be teaching myself how to use it so then I can try and 3D print some of these things on my own, but I don't know how long it'll take. And if anybody out there is interested, has the skills and can help me, I'd really appreciate it. I will give you a shout out and it would be most appreciated. And this is where things are. In about four days, I'm gonna go outside and start doing some shooting, including with the new thumb rings. So you can look for that. I'll be using a tripod, no more handheld shooting from the camera. Sorry about that. Moving, everything's been put up. So I hope you understand. But thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that. And I appreciate anybody who's willing to help. And I appreciate just uh, being able to share some of this cool stuff with you. So thanks and take it easy, YouTube. See ya.